Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be reviewing this um, tea tree sheet mask. I have to say um, the top bit's gone because obviously I've used it and I ripped it off. I've got to keep it. So the name, um, the brand name has gone, um, but you'll be able to see from uh, the title of my video what the brand name is. I'm so sorry, I don't actually know how to pronounce it um, at all. I don't know, but you can see it there. I don't know, I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce this. Um, I actually saw this, I can't remember where I saw it to be honest, it was probably somewhere like Savers, you know, some kind of cheap shop somewhere, um, because this brand is not expensive. I have not used this brand of masks for many, many years. When I saw it, it I just got flashbacks of when I was a teenager, I didn't have much money um, and I wanted to kind of treat myself, have a little pamper, have a facial, um, I would always buy these masks. Now I hadn't seen this one before, so I haven't actually used this. I don't know how long it's been around, maybe it's a newer version. Um, but the ones I used to use um, were the peel off ones um, and also my favorite, they probably still do it actually, um, but my favorite used to be the sauna mask. Um, and it was like a red clay mask and it heated up when it went on your skin and it was literally like being in a sauna it was amazing um all your skin heats up and then it draws out all of the dirt i really loved that mask so i really was a fan of these and the fact that they were only about a pound um and the price really hasn't changed to be honest over the years um but yeah, I think they were a pound at the time, um, so I always loved them. They were just cheap and cheerful, but they did work as well, and I still felt like I was having a pamper without having to spend a ton of money, so I've always been a fan. I don't know if this brand actually do anything else or if it's just masks, but whenever I've seen the brand name, it's always been on one of these little sachets, so if they do anything else, please let me know in the uh, comments. Um, but yeah, I had not tried this sheet mask before in fact I don't think I've ever tried a sheet mask from this brand so I thought I would give it a go I'm really into my masks at the moment um, especially during you know um, everything that's been going on the last few months I've really been using a lot of different masks um, so I thought I'd try this um, I was really impressed now the thing about tea tree is sometimes it can dry out your skin again <laughs> back when I was a teenager I didn't have much money I would buy um, tea tree because I had really bad skin um, I had acne um, as a teenager um, and even when that kind of started to clear up I still would get spots very easily very often um, and so you know I heard that tea tree was good so I would buy all of this tea tree stuff um, you know face wash face scrub um, you know cleansers and toners like everything would be tea tree um, and honestly my skin I had some kind of reaction to it not instantly but after a few weeks and I, I was a bit dumb I didn't really realize what was happening to my skin but um, I was getting really dry like tight patches on my skin where my skin felt really tight um, and very very dry and sore and I didn't know what it was I genuinely didn't click that it was the face stuff because I was thinking well I've been using that for weeks it can't be that um, but it was because I stopped using it it went away and then you know, a month later, I thought I'd try it again and the same thing happened. So it was definitely that. Um, I do think there was a lot of alcohol in that brand. It was a very, very cheap brand. So I do think it was a combination of the tea tree oil, but also the fact that there was just chemicals and just cheap stuff in there. Um, but that is something to mention. Sometimes tea tree oil can really dry out your skin. Um, so just check the ingredients, see what else is in there. If you do have sensitive skin, um, then just try it out because it absolutely ruined my skin um, and it actually put me off tea tree for a long time. Um, so I did think, you know, is this going to dry out my skin? Is this going to be okay? And it was absolutely fine. Um, I really liked it in fact. Um, I think it was about a pound, maybe two pounds. It wasn't any more than two pounds. Not expensive at all. If I have a, um, a link, um, then I'll add it. If not, then just Google it. Um, I'm sure they sell them. Um, in many places online um, but yeah this is what it looks like um, I really like it actually um, I'm not really into these sheet masks you know the ones that look like pandas or whatever I'm just not really into that um, I don't know that kind of thing um, I prefer it to be more of a pampering experience rather than like fun um, 
so I prefer the more kind of sensible looking masks, should we say. But I really like this because usually they're, like I say, they're usually like some kind of weird character or they're just plain. So I really like this design. I like the fact that it's got the leaves on it. Um, yeah, I really like that. Um, it smelled amazing. It smelled of tea tree, obviously. Um, it was very cooling on my skin, very soothing. Um, again, for me, uh, I was wondering, you know, is this going to dry out my skin? What's my skin going to feel like afterwards? And honestly, my skin felt really soft. It actually felt really hydrated as well. It felt really clean. Um, I actually had a couple of spots and that's why I used this particular mask because I bought a few um, when I bought this one and I kind of saved this one. And then I had a couple of spots and so I thought I would use it and it actually did reduce the spots. Um, so the next day they had shrunk right down and kind of dried out. Um, so I was really impressed by that. So again, that's what tea tree does. It's really good for spots. Um, so I really do recommend this if you have spot prone skin, if you have oily skin, I think if you have dry skin, I wouldn't really go for it. Um, just again, that's just my experience with tea tree. Um, you really have to be careful. Um, but if you have oily skin, definitely. Um, and if you get spots as well again go for it um, and usually it tends to be oily skin that gets more spots in general um, and yeah it's just a five minute mask I definitely left it on a little bit longer um, just to feel a bit more pampered but I love the fact it's only five minutes sometimes you know you need to even more than like up to 20 minutes or something um, which sometimes just isn't doable um, you know when you've got a busy life um, let me turn it over and see what it says um, it says that it has squeezed uh, bear berry, pressed tea tree and crushed spearmint. You can, it is very minty actually, um, as well as the tea tree, it does have this minty cooling feeling, which is really nice. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's very pampering. Um, so it says, wake up your skin and senses with stimulating tea tree and cooling crushed spearmint. This sheet mask will help to energize and revive, leaving skin clean, bright and fresh. Um, we're vegetarian and animals are our friends. That's why we don't bash bunnies. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, that's why we don't bash bunnies or add bits of animals. Okay. I didn't read that before. Um, I get what they're saying, but I, I'm not sure about the wording on that. Um, but that's good anyway. Um, and then obviously we have what we have to do here. The ingredients. Um... I like this actually as well, with the ingredient section, they've kind of colour coded it, which you don't normally see, I haven't seen this before on products, where everything green is natural and then um, the brown is not natural but it's safe. So when you're going through ingredients, sometimes you don't know what all these names are. And actually sometimes, if you're looking at ingredients, if you don't recognise the word, you might think it's just a chemical and it's bad for you. But actually, if you Google it, it's usually just a plant or some kind of oil and it's natural. But they've just put its official name. Like every plant, every seed has like a really long name. And sometimes they will just put that long name on there. So you won't actually necessarily know what it is. But sometimes it's literally just an oil, a flower, some kind of plant or something like that. Um, so it's worth noting. So the fact that all of this green... Um, on the ingredients is all natural it's actually really good um, I hadn't even looked at this again I don't know what's going on with me recently but I usually check ingredients um, and I didn't on this um, but yeah I'm really pleased with all of these green section here and then the safe man-made again so now you know that you know this is safe for you this is mainly natural which is amazing um, and it's cheap so I really don't have anything bad to say about this at all I also love the packaging on it I think it looks really good um, easy instructions I like the little picture at the top um, I definitely would get this again um, yeah I've got nothing bad to say about it I just don't know how to pronounce <laughs> the um, the name but um, yeah I really do like this definitely get some more um, and yeah, I'll definitely do what I did before, which is just save it for when I get a little outbreak of some spots and use it because it really did work on reducing my spots, which was amazing. So I highly recommend it. Like I say, if I have a, um, a link, I will leave it um, below in the description. Um, but I'm really happy with it. Really like it. Nothing bad to say. Um, yes, be careful if you have really, really dry skin. 
Um, other than that, I recommend it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.